Welcome back everyone to Tabletop Assault. I'm David. I'm Ross. And today we're bringing you another battle report, but we're putting the points up to 1750. I'll be bringing my Tau today. And I'll be using Necrons. Uh, what are we playing, Ross? Today we're going to be playing Cleanse and Control. How that works is we get six mysterious objectives, and then we get three tactical objectives at the start of turn one. After that, in turn two, you generate up to three new cards until you have three in your hand. So obviously if you achieve nothing turn one, you get no new cards. Achieve three, you get three new cards. So it's really about keeping the momentum of achieving yeah. every turn. Standard stuff as well, Slay Warlords, Linebreaker, First Bloods, all that jazz. Uh, we caveat, we got a new toy. Well, I got a new toy. Um, you'll see what it is in a moment when we show you the armies. But we do want to disclaim this right now. If you're looking for a balanced game, this is not the game for you. We're just gonna have some fun and field our lovely new toys. Let's show you the armies. This is the Tau 1750 points, and as you can see, we have a Tau Supremacy suit and a Yavre or Yavara Riptide battle suit. That's our two new toys. Now they are black, we haven't got around to repaint them yet. Um, but a wee shout out to Xander Fish for the paint job he did on these guys when we got them. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, so let's run through the force. So we do have a combined arms attachment with some unbound elements. We have an ethereal with two shield drones. We have uh, two shield walls and a gun rig. And they'll have two strike teams of 10 fire warriors and a chazui on each of them. We have two pathfinder teams at the bottom there. And um, they have chazuis as well. And they'll just have their marker lights and uh, pulse weapons. And then over on the left there we have a ghost kill formation so the ghost kill has his twin link fusion blasters fusion collider two stealth suits with shaz phrase and fusion blasters uh, on the shaz phrase the rest have burst cannons and then at the back we have the yavara riptide as you all know and the tau supremacy suit um yeah we're really excited to use the new tau models guys we hope you guys enjoy it again we're not looking for a balanced game in this one and uh, we're just having some fun and then, um, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the Necrons. So we come to the Necron force that's going to be taking on uh, David's just one thing I really don't want to face. Uh, I'm going to be taking a Decurion formation. So in the Reclamation Legion, I have the Overlord. He's got a War Scythe, Phase Shifter and the Nightmare Shroud. I have five Immortals just coming as stock. I have two units of Necron Warriors at 10 with a Ghost Arc, and then I have one unit of Necron Warriors that will be Foot Slogan, and there's 13 of them. I have two units of Tomb Blades, both the same, they've got Particle Beavers, Shield Veins, and Nebula Scopes. I've also taken a Canoptic Harvest. We have one Spider, six Wraiths, all with Whip Coils, and Canoptic Scarabs. And then I took a Transcendent Catan, you know, uh, just sort of because I could. And uh, although he looks like the, the Night Bringer. Yeah, we're just gonna proxy. Yeah, because he's a katana. So yeah, let's uh, let's see how they deploy. Alrighty, so starting off the Necron deployment, I got Master of Ambush, which was pretty useful. However, David also got to go for his infiltrators first, which wasn't ideal. So I infiltrated some Necron warriors a wee bit ahead, uh, along with Overlord, and we infiltrated our Katan, who looks a little bit like a Nightbringer. And then some two blades over here just to get uh, an extra couple inches to get their weapons in range. We have our Canoptic Harvest over here. Two Ghost Arcs filled with Necron Warriors. And two blades over here as well. So yeah, I'm basically going to plan to march forward, see what happens, hopefully survive some shooting. So let's have a look at the Tau. We're just going to show you guys how the Tau deployed. So I have, as you can see, my Ghost Kill with the Stealth Drones. Uh, down here we have the Gun Rig, Shield Wall, 10 Fire Warriors, the Ethereal and Pathfinders. We then have a second Shield Wall with uh, Warriors, Pathfinders um, and the big man himself. Um, he's just kicking about in the back with giant cannons on his shoulder. And then over here we have my Yavara Riptide, basically a flying Riptide in itself, with his flamers over here as well. 
and I infiltrated my two units of stealth suits into some cover for their stealth and shrouded, which would be really, really nice. Um, so that's deployment. Necrons have got their gun line. Tau have their gun line. Ross, roll for knife out, please. It's knife fighting. Uh, what up, yeah? Damn it. Kind of happy with that because you ignored it, I think. And then please roll your failure of season initiative. Failure. This is important. We get it. <laughs> oh. I get, to -roll. I, get, I get to re roll that. No, you don't, but you're not disappointed because <laughs> I told you this. Anyway, um, let's move on to Necrons. Turn one. Starting with the Necron objectives, I have three here. It's uh, no prisoners, which is basically destroying enemy unit during my turn. I get one point. Kill three to five, I get D3. And kill uh, six or more would be D3 plus three. So, cool. Quite happy with that. Age of the machine, I have to destroy either a enemy gun implantment, enemy vehicle, or building. Now, David actually doesn't have anything like vehicles, and we don't really go for buildings, but he does have a gun implantment. I sure do. Ah, so yeah, can achieve it, but not the greatest, but can be done. And then we have secure objective marker one, which is right in the center with a lovely looking katan ready to take it. So I'm going to do my movement phase, see where I end up, hopefully harass David a wee bit, and uh, yeah, hope you have a great turn one. Finished off the Necron movement, and uh, so yeah, it was a pretty steady plan of move forward. If you have a wee look, we have moved our two blades forward, that will bring them in range of some of the Fire Warriors. Mm -hmm. It sure does. Yep, yeah, the Canoptic Harvest, you guessed it, moving forward. You activated. Oh yeah, I totally activated uh, the uh, reanimation protocol, because that's the right way to go. Uh, our Necro Warriors now is like, cool, I just got three dice to move through cover to get within three inches of the targeting relay. I rolled a one and a two and a three, and I could not get in range. Yeah. That was devastating. Uh, really unfortunate, but it's okay. Uh, we've then got our Katan, who's moved forward, as he does. That will give me one objective, which is fantastic. We then have the Necron Warriors inside the Ghost Arc, who have moved up here. Second unit you know, of Necron Warriors, and our two blades over here. Now they were unfortunately not in range of the shield wall yet. Yeah. Such life. And our mortals moved up here as well. Just to quickly remind as well, we did actually reveal this mysterious objective as well. Yeah, that was sabotage. Yeah. Uh, that didn't help. <laughs> no. Didn't help. But uh, with that, let's move on to the Necron shoot phase. Going to start with our two blades here. They're going to fire their, oh my goodness, particle beamers. You're right. Yep, and it's going to be just at this guy's base so that I get all of them pretty, much all them, yeah. pretty good. So we've got us three times. Direct yeah, hit. Six hits. Very nice. Uh, that'll be three inches this way. Uh, from his base will hit nothing. I okay, guess unfortunate. And the last one. Uh, that's oh, gone. That's gone. That is gone. We're not going to measure that. But yeah. it is six hits though. Yeah, that's very good. So we've got six hits. They're two separate units. So we'll do the base unit first. Uh, two is to wood. That'll be two wins, David. Two wins. Two three ups. Uh, the burst cannons are actually out front. Sure. So that'll be three up saves. Available. That's okay. the opposite. And the next unit on top. Unit on top. That'll be three wins. Three wins. So I'll do the burst cannons are out front. So three up power save. Oh. <sighs> okay. Next up, we're going to go with our mortals here. They're going to fire at the uh, top unit of stealth suits. Stealth suits, love it. So we're going to be three step uh, with four hits, which is nice. And it'll be two to wind as we're shot to five. And nice. that'll be uh, four wins. We will be getting a crazy cover save. So still shrouded in ruins, two up cover saves. One burst cannon will die. So we're going to go with our Necron Warriors and the Ghost Arc next. They're going to be fired rapid fire at the whoops. Uh, stealth suits. Still suits. Now, we did discuss of some things people have been discussing regarding Necron Warriors and Ghost Arcs and everything. With the, so first with the Ghost Arc, the tracker and everything, people say that you can actually move 12 and fire it. Independent targeting. Independent yeah. targeting. No, what it really sort of says is that you can choose separate targets, but that doesn't overrule the general vehicle movement yeah. rules. We've had a look at it a few it's, times. It's not fast, you know, it just allows you to have the choice if the choice is available. 
So, and the Pashas himself will obviously just move six, they'll be fine. So, 20 shots. 20 shots! Into these poor still suits. These to hits. Ooh. See a few ones and twos there. Uh, a lot of ones actually. Yeah, a lot of ones. Still, uh, there's a two. There's two, I'll take it. Ah! Uh, threes to wind. Threes to wind. And then it'll be your two up armor save. Cover save. Cover save. And again, a uh, couple of any twos. Okay. No. So, so I really want you to fill two, so it should be two ones. Okay. Uh, the, so that leaves the Shaz Ray with the Fusion Blaster alive, and that's another burst cannon down. Next up, the Ghost Arc itself is going to fire its 10 shots. Straight the last guy there as well. The Shazbury. Shazbury. So, I mean, three step. Uh, all but one. Yep. Very nice. Three's to wind. Three's to wind. Uh, well, um, doable. Show me one one. Two up cover. Oh, oh, he's sticking around. So it was really unfortunate I didn't manage to clear him. Uh, I really needed to cause some damage. So next up the Ghost Arc, 10 shots, we're going to fire at him again. The poor Shazri. Yeah, because if I clear him, I get a victory point. So, 3 step. Uh, again, nine, again. 9 hits, which is impressive. 3 to wind. 3 to wounds. And uh, that will be a lot more wounds. So okay. just one, one David. Please, that would be really handy. 2 up cover save. And he's That's down. more than enough. First blood to Ross. Um, well played. So we have now the passengers in the Ghost Arc. They're going to fire their blasters. At the second stealth suit unit, you're picking away at them. Yep. So, three step. Uh, ooh, that was a heck of a lot of misses. A heck of a lot of misses. Yeah, is that what? Six misses? Six misses. And uh, threes to wind. <sighs> Only two wounds. Not as good as last time. So, two up cover saves. Double one. Well, that's one. One, one burst cannon goes down. So we're going to go with our Katan next, uh, and he's going to make his random shooting attack. How we're going to display this is, well first I've got to choose a target. It's going to be the Dunham plan. I really need to remove it to clear all my cards, which would be very handy at this stage. I've got six choices, I need to choose a random one, and there's only one of these cards that's going to really, really get it for me. Okay. So we'll go with this one here. I need the Strength D1. Uh, not quite. It is salt one, large blast, strength eight, AP three, antimatter, meteor. Not exactly what I needed. So it won't finish him, but uh, we might cause some damage. All right. So we have put the large blast template down on the the gun, and it's had a few of the guys here. I think is it two drones, one Ethereal. Ethereal, and two fire warriors. It was. I think it was one fire warrior. Uh, no, that's two. Is it two? Yep. We've also checked the two Fire Warriors in and the Ethereal are within an inch of the shield part of the wall. So if they make successful cover saves, with all the six, it goes back. It goes back. back. However, Wolf Scar, Wolf Scar. Uh, that'll go two, two inches, inches forwards, which will probably be, uh, probably going to be, oh, we'll measure and see. Yeah, we'll double check. We've done the measurements, you get one hit on the gun emplacement. So that'll be, we'll do that first, yep. so that'll be three up. So that'll be... Down to one wound. Hooray. Uh, you've got another hit on the Ethereal, so two's to wound. Well, it's on the, gun, the drones as well, the power unit, aren't they? Yeah, but they... Oh, you are totally right. Yeah, so two's to wound. So that's two wounds. Uh, the gun drone... One of the gun drones, or shield drones? Shield drones. So four up in, Will. So if you want to do that one first, um, then I think you're going to do lookout, sir, afterwards. Lookout, sir. So shield drone, first of all, four up. One down, and lookout, sir, with the Ethereal, two plus. And then four up involve for the shield drone. He is fine. But it's a wind off and a shield drone down. So we go with this Necron unit that had Necron warriors who decided they didn't want to move quickly, even with move through cover, which was a pain. I've only got three shots at the gun emplacement. If I take this, I will have achieved all my objectives this turn. Mm. I should maybe think about running them, but I'm going to go with hope here. Uh, three's to it. Uh, oh my goodness, uh, sixes to wind. Sixes. Well, maybe yeah. I should have ran. Gonna go with our two blades next. They're gonna fire at this Pathfinder unit here. And you're hitting all of them. Yeah, so hopefully we'll get a little bit more hits than last time. Uh, that'll be two inches away. 
and it was the back guy, was it, or is it over there? So three guys, three hits. Oh, three. sorry, guys. It was three hits. Yeah. Direct hit. So you're up to seven hits. No, sorry, eight hits in total. That'll be thirteen hits. Thirteen hits. Let's All get right. the dice ready. So you have thirteen hits. Uh, I've got two to wounds, no cover save. Uh, just just kill. Don't roll lots of ones. They're dead. They're, they're dead. They're dead. They're kind of gone. We have a leadership check to do at the end of Ross's phase. Let's use the stealth suits at leadership nine. They're sticking oh. around. And the ethereal, because he did take 33% casualties in his unit. You're going to uh, fail us twice, David. He's fine. He's fine. Leadership 10. And that does actually bring us to the end of the Necron turn one. A little bit lacklustre, but not too bad overall. Uh, I did my run moves, so our wraiths moved forward, uh, not very far. So did the scarabs and the spider. Really, I'm hoping I need to survive the next turn as we... Uh, oh, what did you claim? Well, that's what I was about to say. We've got to go over the claims. Uh, I did get a first blood, which is awesome. Yeah. Uh, I got objective marker one, which gave me one point, and then I did get no prisoners by killing two units. If I'd killed that gun in place, yeah. that would have been D3, but sadly not. Uh, so that gives me two victory points with first blood, as we move into Tau, turn one. I've gone ahead and drawn my tactical objective card, so I have feigned withdrawal. Score one victory point at the end of your turn if at least one enemy unit uh, that started your turn within nine inches of one of your units and not in its own deployment zone is completely destroyed. I have two targets. Both your tomb blades are viable targets for that. Yep. Uh, um, next we drew domination, which I'm probably going to discard. Score D3 plus three victory points if you control every objective. Not a nope. chance. And uh, recon, uh, basically score one if every objective is revealed, either in your turn or in any previous turn. Um, so probably only going to get one victory point this turn, but it's a start. Let's move on to the movement phase. Welcome to Tau turn one. Um, just got a couple of things to go over. I've done my movement phase. We've activated Storm of Fire on the Ethereal, so any enemy units that I'm shooting at within half range, 15 inches, shoot an extra shot. Nice. They're with our pulse weapons. Uh, just down here, my Riptide the Yavahra is allowed to, basically every turn but not every subsequent turn, convert himself into a swooping monstrous creature. Well, he he's not move like yeah, one. He's not treated as actually flying, but he gets like a 24 inch bounding leap essentially. So he has leaped to here, now within threat range of this clump of guys. Lovely. He has some nasty weapons. Um, otherwise, to recap the movement phase guys, the shield walls have moved up, the supremacy is just hiding I guess? If you can call that hiding, he's bigger than the building. He's hiding and giggling. They can't <laughs> see me, they can't see me. Uh, otherwise, the shield walls moved up, we're just going to lay as much firepower as we can into Ross and we've activated our mirrors from our ghost fuel formation so everyone now has ballistic skill 4, Ignores cover, just nasty really, I guess. Um, let's shoot some shots at the Necrons. We're going to start with the Pathfinders and they're going to shoot all five of their marker lights into the sixth race. They yep. are terrifying. Yep. So, force to hit. Okay, that's fine. We get two. They're all for buffing ballistic skill anyway. Just going to do the Nova Reactor for the Yavara. He is fine. And we are going to use um, Overcharged Ionic Burst. Now because my Yavara Riptide um, did his basically swooping monstrous creature move, he is now to use, allowed to use his Flechetti Dispersal Pods. So I can choose an enemy unengaged unit within 6 inches. Two blades? Two blades. I was already on them. <laughs> <laughs> They'll take Strength 4, AP 5, Assault D6, Shred. Cool. So, good start. Uh -oh. That's uh, 6 hits. Yeah. So be fives to wind. Fives to wind re-rollable. So we get two so far, and these are re-rollable because of shred. Okay, so two saves. Two saves. I did give them a uh, shove in, so three up, uh, and then four up reanimation. So one does go down, and that'll be a morale check. check. 
Right, we are going to begin the rest of the shooting with the Tau Supremacy, and he's going to shoot his Pulse Ordnance Multi Driver. What a name! We're going to use the Concentrated Bombardment, so it's Strength DAP1, Ordnance 1, Massive Blast 7 inches. And the race are going to use two of the marker lights to make anything that shoots at them plus two ballistic skill. Yep. Now, again, I know we're using Apocalyptic Blast, but we've measured the ring for seven inches. And if we put it there, we're getting all the wraiths and a uh, scout. I would love if you roll double six going this way. Yeah. Now, do. it's not the full blast, remember, guys, but we have measured the ring. So yep. we're going for scatter. Scatter, scatter, scatter. An inch. Uh, it's going to hit everything bar the, the scarab, I think. Yeah, I would agree with you on that one. So let's get our dice ready. So we've checked it's six hits on the wraiths. Now it's a destroyer weapon, so if I roll any sixes here, remove a model for each six. Yep. Otherwise you'll get a three up invul save. If you fail any of that, it converts to D3 wins instead of one. Mm. You cannot take reanimation protocol against your destroyer hits. Thanks, David. Going for some sixes. Roll all. We get no sixes. You don't get any ones either. So uh, just roll for invuls and see how many you get. Uh, all of them. Three up invuls. You've got another one to roll. You only uh, rolled five there. Oh yeah, sorry, that was my bad. Uh, okay. So two are going to get D3ers. Do you want to roll them? Yep, so just don't roll ones and twos. Roll ones and twos. Two uh, race die. Two race die. So it's four wins or five wins. Still with the Supremacy suit, we'll use our twin linked burst cannons into the tomb blades. Now there's two of them, so it's eight shots. Uh, threes to hit. They are twin linked. So that's seven hits. They're strength five, so it's actually fours to wound. Okay, so that's four saves. Cool. AP? Uh, just AP five, so you're fine. Cool, so three up saves. And one four up. Uh, that is a four Ross. Oh, nice. We had no luck there, let's use the smart missile systems next, again on the Tomb Blades. So another 8 shots, hitting on 3s. We are twin linked. <laughs> again, 7 hits. Uh, strength 5, AP 5, so it's going to be uh, force, force to wound. That's a lot better. Yeah, that was a lot better. So that's uh, 5 saves to make. Oh, let's get you to die. I don't know, kind of the same as last time. I think it was 4. Uh, Done because they're all made. Unbelievable. Next up, we'll use the Eradicator into the two Tomb Blades. It feels like a waste, but I need to get rid of them. Yeah, and I don't want you to, I don't want you to kill them, so I will drink. Cool. So it's five shots, hitting on threes. Bet you wish I didn't drink now. Can I wish I didn't drink now? Uh, it's strength AP1, so twos. It's a wind. So I will get a four up. Uh, yep. You might, you mate. Um, I'm not going to shoot them now, because they can't shoot back. Yep. So I'm going to use my... My last gun, my Triaxis Ion Cannon. <laughs> I'll put six shots into the race at strength 7 AP3. Sounds good. So we're now hitting on twos with a six up reroll. Yep. Because they're at the race. Yep. Where were those sixes when the demon was hit? <laughs> oh man, that was a great roll, David. Okay. Sure you didn't need it at this point. Yeah, but it's twos to wind you. Yep. Okay, I can some sixes. So that is six wins. Yep. So Straight to Invulse. Sorry. There you go. Can I take that? Nope. Nope. Don't think so. Uh, so I fail one. Reanimation. Uh, reanimation. Uh, no. So one is down, down to one wound. wound. We're going to use the Yvachra battle suit next, and I'm going to use his phased plasma flamer. I'm going to use the full rotation version, which means it's get hot, but I get to flame twice at strength six AP two, and it is torrent six inches. So we'll do it there. So we're hitting monstrous creature and four bases. Nice. Um, I just realised I don't have enough dice, so we'll just do this separately really quickly. Do you get hot first? Do you get hot? Nope. And the second one, might as well do it just now. Nope. So we're going to grab your dice, see how much damage you do. We'll do our eight hits in total then on the scarabs. Yep. So we're looking for twos. Twos to go away. Uh, okay. Well, we'll get reanimation with yep. five up. Five up indeed. The four bases gone. Are dead. <laughs> four bases will go away, and then we have two hits on the spider itself, and these again are forced to wound. Strength six AP two, one wound. You will get reanimation. Uh, and I'm not. I'm within twelve of him, but I need to be one, so that will be a wound. 
We're not finished with the Yavakra, so I'm now going to shoot his second gun, which is the Ionic Discharge Cannon. Now, I did overcharge the Ionic Burst version, so I get heavy three shots plus D3. Okay. Let's see how many. Okay, so we get five shots. And this is at strength eight, AP3. So it's uh, twos for reanimation against your Tomb Spider. Cool, so three's to hit. Three's to hit. Oh, and twos. Oh, Ooh. oh, this is not good. So it's uh, four up. Yep. Oh, we're okay. It's sticking around. You really did need that. Uh, yeah. Next up will be the stealth team here. Now they are within six inches of the ghost kill, so all their shots will hit the rear armor. Ignores cover of that ghost arc. And plus one ballistic skill. And plus one. So we're going to start with the fusion blaster and the Shazray. That's a hit. Now it's in melter range, your rear armor is 11. It sure is. Strength 8 AP1. That's a pen. Yep. I should have asked, would you like, oh you can't drink. No, it's cover. Yeah, no cover. So the shield's permanently down. Yep. It's AP1 open topped, 4 plus explodes. Oh my goodness. Nope, but it, but it is, is immobilised. Um, next the burst cannon can hurt it. Yep. So this is 3's to hit. Okay, we get 2 hits. And uh, strength five, so six is to glance. Nothing. And we've also got a pin check on our Necron Warriors inside there, uh, which they're fine. Oh, goody. Next up is the Ghost Keel. Let's see if he can do any better to open up these tin cans. So, Fusion Collider. It's not in melter range though. So we are gonna scatter it. Still gonna hit you. Uh, was that four inches? Yeah. It's not going to hit anyone else, but it will hit nice. the Ghost Arc. Now, it's not in Melta, but it is Strength 8 AP1. You so are hit my rear, though. Yep. yep. So, so three's to glance. Well, let's move on. Twin Link Fusion, uh, Fusion Blaster onto the same unit. Yep. Three's to hit Twin Link. Twin Link. Okay, again on your rear. So three's to glance, four's to pen. Wow, this is just abysmal shooting from Tao. Absolutely abysmal. This Fire Warrior squad here is going to shoot into the race. Now we really need to start whittling them down. Uh, they are storm fired, so they get to shoot an extra shot because they are within 15 inches. So it's 30 shots in total. And uh, Mark elected up, so their ballistic skill 5 against the race. This should do it. So we're looking, first 15 shots, looking for twos. Okay, so there's. Four ones, so that's 11 hits so far. Nice. And the next set, oh. two ones. So that's what, do your math David. 24? So we have our 24 dice, Ross is making me nervous, my math there. Um, we're forced to wound. Oh, I don't think that was very good. No, that was not very good. Uh, so four there. Take all these. Okay, so you have eight, ten wounds. Cool. Uh, so I'm going to be three off in rolls. Start with. Uh, so you fail three. Fail three. Four up your animation. Cool. Uh, now they are within twelve inches of my lord reclamation. Mm -hmm. So reroll once. Uh, well, I don't get to reroll, but that will be one wraith dead. dead. These 10 fire warriors are going to shoot 30 shots because they are storm fired into your Katan. Katan. So first 15 shots, we're hitting on fours, but we are next to target and relay. So it's a uh, reroll once. Yep. Okay. No ones. <laughs> <laughs> Good deduction skills. All right, so we've got about four, five, nine hits there. Nice. Next 15. Okay, one, reroll these two. Sure, sure, sure. Deal convert. Okay, so we get uh, 10, 16 hits. Okay, so 16 hits. Strength 5 against toughness 7, so 6 is to cause some wounds. Ah, oh, only oh. one. Should have got more. Now, math wise, you should have got one or two. Uh, which I make. Oh no. 
Last to shoot will be the real gun, which I'm going to shoot a solid shot, strength 10 AP1 at the Tomb Spider. Because I need to kill it. You need to kill it. Okay, um, gonna miss this. Force to hit. It's a hit. Oh, two is to wound. It's just. <sighs> Very glad you win with strength ten now. Kind of. He's okay. Yeah. It wasn't strong enough to remove. No uh, reanimation protocol. He has toughness six, so I can keep up with uh, that and the curing. Let's go and do some uh, thrust moves and try and get myself in a better position because that was a terrible turn for Tile. Before uh, we show, before we show you the um, thrust moves, sure. Let's uh, roll your leadership check down here. Cool. So ten. We're okay. Yeah, fine. You've got a blind test over here. So I need to roll one or two. Uh, he's not blind. <laughs> he's unbelievable. He's like, uh, I think that's really it. So we'll quickly show you the uh, thrust moves, and then we've got a bomb to explode. So Yvakra kind of moved back a little bit. Uh, and over here, our ghost kill moved a little bit closer. Um, I kind of want to try and split across his force. And up here, we've hidden our stealth suits, who revealed nothing of note up in that objective. However, Ross. Sabotage! Sabotage. That's fine. <sighs> okay, so if no objectives to claim this turn. Um, Not even one. Not even one, no. That's tragic. Yeah. Arguably probably the worst tile turn I've ever played in my entire life, but I've got a funny feeling it's going to pick up next turn. Let's move into Necrons, turn two. So we're going to look at the objective cards for Necron turn two. I've still got Age of the Machine, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to take out that uh, big gun. I then got Thrall Sand King, which I'm a real big fan of. However, how that works is I basically get another card and I get bonuses if I achieve it with my Warlord. That bonus card was Hold the Line. Basically, I have to get at least three of my scoring units uh, and none of my opponent's scoring units within 12 inches of my uh, table edge. That's going to lose me a lot of momentum mm -hmm. uh, if I move backwards. I need to keep moving forward. So that's a really poor card to get with Thrall the Sand King. And then Secure Objective Marker 2, which is... Miles away! Which we also revealed it is because the Supremacy Armour was there, nothing but notes. So really bad draws for me on this one, uh, which is not ideal. But I will move forward, see how I do, and uh, we'll come back at the end of the Necron Ribbon piece. So after David's terrible turn, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I've done my movement phase, see where I'm going up. I once again rolled some really bad move through cover rolls. Uh, the spider, who has activated his ability at the start of his turn to give the wraiths and scarabs uh, reanimation protocol. But he chose not to build a scarab. He chose not to build a scarab, but he rolled a 2 maximum for his move through cover. Yeah. Not so good. So he's staying put. These guys also only rolled a 4, but has given them a lot of uh, reroll 1s to shoot, which is nice. One go start, move forwards uh, and deploy its guys. The other one, which is mobilised. Deployed its guys. Two blades came behind here, hopefully, going to deal with these guys over here. And our wraiths and scarabs here, along with two blades that are drinking, so can't fire here. And your. Oh, yeah, Katan, he decided to go forwards because he's going to do Katan things. Let's shoot some stuff though. Let's shoot. So, we're going to start with these guys here. Going to put two templates in them just in front of his base. Hopefully, clear this, these guys away because they've been causing a bit of pain. Uh, oh, that we land on them, so I think that's straight up to three hits in there. Yeah, I think that's straight back, dude. Yeah. Uh, direct tip. So two hits there. And that'll be one inch that way, so that will still be two of them. Yeah. So four hits on the guys and three hits on you. So we're going to start with my wounds of these guys. I'm just needing twos. Which will be four wounds. Please get two ones and twos. Okay, so um, yeah, three up armor save. They're dead. All right. They're dead. And then I wound you three times. Uh, on threes? Yep, on threes. It's two wounds. Two wounds. I do get a three up armor save. Really? Four up reanimation. But we make it. Ho, 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 ho. You got there in the end. Next up, I'm going to go with my Catan, and he's going to target the Ethereal with uh, our crazy card game of shooting attacks. Going to choose this one again, because we did shuffle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. 
So it is Assault 1 Tesla when firing this weapon, special rule, tip was two additional ones. Uh, not great, but okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, so that's only one shot. Uh, I need twos to hit. Will you be going to ground? Uh, yes. <laughs> yep, sort of figured. Well, never mind. Katan shooting phase over. Gonna use our immobilised Ghost Arc next, who's gonna fire at this gun rig. Gun rig. Do we get 10 shots? Hit on threes. Which will be three misses, so that's seven hits. And then I'm needing sixes. But if I finish here, I get that all important objective. And that'll be two, two sixes. sixes. Three up armour save for the gun emplacement. And you get it. Gun emplacement down. I'm gonna go with this. Group of Necron Warriors next, they are going to be targeting this Ghost, ghost kill. kill. David did told me about his crazy thing where basically I can, he only doubles his stealth and shrouded on units over 12 inches or attacks 12 yep, inches. Only over 12 inches. So we've got six attacks rapid firing, which will be, uh, and then the rest of them will be normal. normal. So basically, three guys are ignoring the 2 plus cover while the rest of them is giving me a 2 plus cover. Sounds good. So let's roll the rapid fire separately. Yep, yeah, so this will be three step. Uh, so that is nice. Fives to win me. Yeah. It's just one wound. One wound. So this is a three up save. Which you mean? Which is fine. And then these rest are giving me a two up cover save. All so hit. All hit. Fives to win me. Whoa. That's three wounds. Uh, they will be two up saves though. So two up cover save. Whoa. One wound. So he's down to three wounds. Gonna go with these Necron Warriors next. They are gonna fire at the Ghost Fuel. Uh, nine of them are within rapid fire. Pause. Yep. I'm gonna activate Holo Photon countermeasures. Right. That unit now has to snap fire. Oh, That's my Ghost Fuel. I have to declare it once he's chosen as a target. Okay, fair enough. So uh, six is to hit. So you do take a wounds. Three up armor save because it's within rapid fire. Oh, he's down to two wounds. And this one, nothing. Next up, we're going to go Ghost Arc on him. Uh, none of your crazy abilities now. Oh, no. One use only, that one was. One use only, so three's to hit. That's cocked. Uh, so a good couple of misses on that one. Okay, so five hits. Five hits. We are needing five to wounds. Uh, and it is enough, double one will finish him, David. So um, you're more than 12 inches away, so two up cover save. Oh no, he's super fine. Still got two wins left. So our Necron Warriors next, with their Overlord, are going to rapid fire into these Fire Warriors. Uh, only one guy can actually rapid fire, yeah, the rest of them just shoot normally. Okay. Uh, do you want to go to grounds? Nope. Okay then, so we have three to hit, reroll them once. Uh, so reroll once. Starting really, but that didn't help. Then we are threes to wounds. You are indeed. Uh, so that is, what was that, six wounds? Yes, six wounds. Now four up cover save. Okay, so we've made three of them. And three fire warriors go down. Now if I roll any sixes, these hits bounce back. Sure. No bounce back, but it is three dead fire warriors. We have a leadership check to do here with these fire warriors. Is it the end of Ross's shooting phase? They are fine because they get to use his leadership. And just to quickly show you, Ross did do a run move for his Tim Spider. What did you roll, Ross? You got one. Good stuff. Alrighty, so we're going to go with our Katan. We're just going to charge Ethereal. David has elected not to overwatch with supporting fire. Probably a good move because there's other things that are coming. I need to get eight to get this, and this is quite important. Oh! oh and we will not be getting it this turn. <sighs> kind of wish I went to ground now. <laughs> oh well. So I am going to charge now with my Tomb Blades onto Fire the Warriors. Fire Warriors. I presume we're going to Overwatch. Yep, so we get 20 shots. Yep. Because you're in rapid fire. So uh, sixes. Okay, so we've got four. Four hit. Nice. And um, oh, sorry. it's going to be fours to wound because they're strength five. So that's two saves to make. Two saves. So I need three ups, uh, one fails, and then it'll be a four up reanimation. 
Which we're fine. So, uh, just don't go double one. Oh, look, oh, look we're fine. You've got another charge, Ross. Yeah, I'm going to do the scarabs on them. Uh, now, you do want to join these guys in to help with the scarabs? I'll think about that. David has chosen not to overwatch, so I've just got to really make, you know, a three inch charge. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. That's fine. And next, I'm going to do the wreaths onto this unit of Pathfinders. And David has uh, sort of selected to go all out with this overwatch. Yeah. So we will support and fire with my remaining fire warriors. Now yeah. they are within three inches of the target in relay. So I have 21 shots here because they get three shots apiece. Yep. As a storm of fire. Now we ballistic skill plus two of them in the marker lights. You sure did. So it's actually overwatching on four plus, and the pathfinders will have 15 shots because they are also storm of fire with their pulse weapons from the ethereal. So we'll do the 21 with the fire warriors first of all. Yep. These have reroll ones. So looking for fours. Grey roll. So we get three rerolls. I'll just take out the rest, guys. Oh, that was a miss. So these have all hit so far. These are rerolls to four plus. So two more. Uh, and these wind on fours. So fours to wind. That's a mighty good overwatch. That was really nice. So this might kill one. Hopefully, not more. Threes. Uh, ooh, that was quite a few fails. So there's four fails, but you do get reanimation at four plus. Yep, so go got to get a nice good four pluses here. So one does go down. That one will go down. We've still got 15 more shots from the Pathfinders. Yep. Using their pulse carbines. Yep. So 15 shots hitting on fours. Uh, no no reroll this time. They are not within range, but still a healthy hit. Yep. And we are wounding on fours. Okay, so that is three more wounds. Three more wounds, uh, three ups. All mate. They all mate. Um, your charge range, you're looking at three inches. Just yeah. don't roll a double one twice. <gasps> Surely not. No, uh, we're fine. We're going to start off with this combat here. Uh, two blades do get their Hammer of Wrath, so I'm going to be wounding on threes. Mm -hmm. That'll be two wins. Two wins. Four up armor save. Hey, Both alive. Champs. Now we checked as well, these guys have defensive grenades for the Fire Warriors. Yep. So you lose your charge bonus, but we're all the same initiative. Why don't you go first? Cool, well the scabs will be out shaking last because they charged into cover. Uh, but my two blades came up behind you, so they're okay. Uh, we are going to be hitting you in threes. Wounding you on threes. So there's nothing. You get straight back. Okay, so I've got 11 attacks. I'm just going to put them all into the two blades. So we are threes to hit, I believe. Three no. Ones. Forced to hit. Forced to hit, your web's got two. Okay, so uh, three hits. And uh, fives to wind. Strength three. Sixes to wind. Sixes to wind. Nothing. Next up, my scarab swarm with 16 attacks, because uh, your darn photon grenade stop my extra attack. And we did check, you are forced to hit. I am forced to hit, we did check this. Uh, forced to hit and forced to wind. Ooh, I wish it was still threes to put into these ticks, that would have been a lot better. Okay, about And then fours to win me. Fours to wins. Uh, and that'll be that many saves. So these are all four up saves. Ha! Huh. Wow. Uh, that's a drawn combat. No wins were caused. No. On either side. Next up, we're going to go with the Wraiths combat. Uh, I will be striking first because the new Rata clears up that they do not suffer the effects of difficult terrain or just charging into them. Face through it. So, threes to hit. And twos to win, sixes will rend. Two armor okay. saves. Five up for recon armor. So, two Pathfinders will die. Um, I will get three attacks back. Four to hit. Uh, two for the Shazui. So, four to hit. Nice. And sixes to wound you. Give me some sixes. Oh well. So I lose combat by two, so I'm now down to leadership five, because I think they're leadership seven with the Shazui. I think it's leadership eight with the Shazui. We will go and check. 
We've gone and double checked. Uh, yep, she has Wei's leadership eight, but that doesn't even matter because I have to use the ethereals. He's within 12 inches. So it's a leadership 10 at minus two. Yeah, so eight, stick about, let's have fun. Oh, darn. Perfect, I wanted to run away. Yeah, I think you did as well. Um, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to win this. Hey, yeah, we're both initiative two. Yeah, did I not get my whip clothes? Uh, I don't think you get that for like this initiative bonus. We'll do initiative off and then we'll have a read. Oh my. Well, uh, yeah. So as you can see, the Pathfinders aren't there. We did check. The whip coils cannot affect it. So I did win the initiative off. I ran away. Down here. So Ross, I think that's the end of your turn two. If I'm correct. Yes. Uh, any objectives to claim? So yeah, uh, I am going to achieve Age of the Machine because I did destroy your gun implantment. So that brings it four to nil. Yep. I am going to bin... Uh, hold the line of the Thrall, the Silent King. I agree. Because uh, I'm not going back that quickly. <laughs> not anymore. Um, is that all you can claim? That's all I can claim. So it's 4 nothing at the moment at the end of turn 2 for Necrons. Let's go into Tau, turn 2. Right, we're at the start of Tau turn 2, so let's show you. I do have Recon and Fane Withdrawal. I did discard um, just, well, Domination, so I was never going to get that. No chance. Um, but I did draw Secure Marker 6, which is the sabotaged one all the way over here. It's achievable. I need to start getting points somehow. Uh, let's move on to Tau, movement phase. Tau, we're kind of hanging in it here. We're behind on points, but we've still got a decent sized force left on the table. Just show you my movement. Um, my Pathfinders rallied. They Ooh. came back in. Yep. Moved three inches, and you can pretty much see already the gun line is reversing. So we've moved back, still within three inches, still kind of bubbling up with the ethereal. We've got a lot bearing down on us. Uh, otherwise, Supremacy stayed where he is, because he's in range of everything that he needs. And. Um, the Yavara cannot swoop this turn, he needs to move normally. He's moved up to get to marker 6, but he's just going to try and snipe off the Tomb Spider so we can get no more fuel, no pains on that Canoptic Harvest, because it's doing my nothing. <laughs> um, we did the Nova Charge as well on Riptide, we passed, so I'm just going to get more shots. Uh, and with that, let's move on to the, uh, movement, uh, sorry, the shooting phase. Oh. We did storm of fire our ethereal warriors, uh, fire warriors again. Um, but with that, yeah, let's move on to the shooting phase. We'll start with the marker lights. We'll shoot three snap firing marker lights into the wraiths. Yep. Looking for some sixes. Oh well, complete power <laughs> off. Um, we're going to move into the supremacy next. Now, we don't have a clover leaf apocalyptic blast marker. We're going to improvise today, guys. Oh. We've got our dice pointed out. Um, I'm just going to quickly go ahead and roll this. So, we essentially have a apocalyptic blast here in the middle, Ross. Yeah. One of the clover ends over here. Yeah. One over here. Yeah. One over here. Yeah. One over here. Yeah. We'll do this scatter and then we will off camera work out the results. What's going on? So, right in the middle on top of your lord. Yeah. Okay. List it skill four from the Tile Supremacy. Just gonna go back, what, three inches? Yep. We'll work that out for you guys and we'll come back. This will be beautiful. Bear with us, we are improvising. So that's where the center of the clover has gone. Boom. Yep. We've done our measurements. That'll be clover marker three. So again, what that looks like, guys, is another blast over here. Clover marker four. four. Two is round the reverse end of this corner. Yep. And one is there. So just to quickly recap, we've got boom, 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 boom. We get it, David. It's three, in, it's bracket three, so I'll roll three dice. These dice will determine where the barrages have hit. Lovely. So let's see it. So we have two and three. Right. And we have one up at the back corner here. Cool. So we have a barrage here and two here. We'll go and work out the results. We'll come back to you in a second. So after a bit of playing around with the apocalyptic blast marker we had at our disposal, we've managed to score eight hits on this unit here, with twos to wound, ignore cover, AP3. So it's only five wounds. Cool. 
Uh, it's a door cover, so I'm only looking at my five up reanimation. So minus one, two. There is four guys starting up the front, so I'll do them first. Yeah, I don't know how dice to pick up. Yep, I'm going to do four guys first, then it's the war. The oh, okay, yeah, cool. So, four guys first. Uh, two die. Two down, and then it will just be the third guy who will also die. So it's three warriors down. And then we manage to score four hits on these race here. Yep, okay, so twos. Twos. That's three wins. Yep, so they will get their three up in bolt as standard. Uh, and then I'll get a... Five, four up reanimation. Four up reanimation. What you make? Well, fine. That did not work out as planned. We'll use our tri cannon next to shoot our five melter shots into the th the two race. Sounds good. So we're uh, looking for threes to hit. All but one. Two's to wound. Three saves. Uh, no, four saves. Four saves. Sorry. Uh, three ups. Fail. Four up. Oh, so he is dead. That's one wound guy down. We now have our, I forget the name of it, but it has got six shots, strength seven, AP three, into your last wraith. One of them does have try in its name, but I don't know what it yeah. is. So fours to hit, sorry, threes to hit. So all but one again. Nice. Uh, twos to win, strength seven, uh, toughness five. <sighs> three wins. Cool. Uh, do you got pinball save? Oh, man, what? Do not need that this time. Four up. Ah, he's, he's gone. gone. The wraiths are gone. Uh, next up, now my burst cannon's not in range of anything, but I will shoot the smart missile systems and I'm going to target the Transcendent Catan. Because yeah. really, he is kind of the only other threat I really have at this stage. Sure, sure, sure. So, eight shots, hitting on threes twin linked. So, that's four miss so far. And these are twin linked. Okay, so six hits. It'll be sixes to wind. Because you are tough as seven. Sure, sure. Two wins. Four up in balls. Cool, yeah. Four up in balls. Uh, I fail one, so I'm down to three wins. Three wins. Actually, it's four wins left. Lovely. Next up is a Yavakra battle suit. And again, as I mentioned, he did pass his Nova test. So we're going to overcharge the ion. Sorry. Yeah, overcharged ion burst, so he gets his extra shots, but we'll start off by doing the flamer. So it's six inch torrent. We're hitting the four warriors and the tomb spider. I'm gonna to choose to use its get hot version, which cool. means it can flame twice. So we'll don't roll ones. So we rolled a one. Two up armor save. That's more like it. So he is down to three wounds, but we do get four hits on the warriors at strength six AP2. So three wins. Three wins. And that'll be uh, four up reanimations. Uh, okay, reroll re ones. One, which I'll make, so two warriors down. Two warriors down. And it was one hit then on the Tim Spider. Winding you on fours. Yep. That's a wind. Uh, and that'll be four up. Which he makes. So I'll now have to use my Ion Discharge Cannon. Again, at Tim Spider, he was originally targeted with the Flamer. You can choose two different targets. Watch this creature. It's all good. All good. <laughs> um, so it is heavy three, strength eight, AP three, but oh. it has got an extra D three shots. Oh, that's so more four like shots. That. There we are, threes to hit. So three hits. That's and we are twos to wind you. It's three wins. So three four ups. Uh, which I fail one, but uh, if I'm within 12 inches, I know it's the Reclamation... No, it's just the Reclamation Legion that benefits from his, doesn't it? Well, have a wee check. And yep, only models within 12 inches of the Overlord in Reclamation can reroll once, so Tomb Spider is down to one wound. We have 21 shots from these seven Fire Warriors, rapid firing, but they get an extra shot because it is within its 15 inch range. Yep. And that's because of Storm of Fire from the Ethereal. So 21 shots. Hitting on fours, reroll ones. Well, thank goodness you can reroll ones. Yeah. Uh, I didn't, did I roll a single three? No. <laughs> nice. So these have all hit though. So a good amount of hits, that's healthy. Reroll to fours. Oh, oh. nice. Yep. <sighs> you have four wins, so I'm not picking away. Now these are sixes to win you. One, two, three. Three sixes for four up in balls. Yep. 
Four open rolls, don't roll triple one again. Uh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, that was pretty good. We've got a lot of targets to shoot the Fusion Collider, but we need to start working on this flank. Yep. Fusion Collider. Yep. We're hitting two models. Let's roll for Scatter. Go away. Now, even with the mirrors, yep. it's still plus on Ballistic Skill. Go away. That's what I was talking about. That has gone. Um, and the Twin Link Fusion Blaster. Save guys. Yep. We need yep. to shoot the same target. Okay. Hits. Twos. That's a wind. Yep. I will take uh, four up reanimation. Uh, so one is down. That will be a leadership test. Steve has now finished his uh, shooting. Mediocre, but it was better in the first turn. So I'm going to do my morale checks. Uh, whoa, just fine. <laughs> Thank goodness for Necrons. Ten. Hopefully that won't happen here, as they've got one as well. Uh, and they are fine as well. So I've got a charge to the clear, which is strange for Tau. But let's move into Tau Assault Face. One charge to the clear, which will be this dude. So, four inch charge. We're super in. Oh yeah. We are super in. Uh, as I say Assault Phase as well, I do have some thruster moves to do, mainly with my Ghost Keel. So uh, let's go ahead and get that done. So we're going to start with the Yavahra. So I have Hammer of Wrath, winning on fours. That's nothing. Um, we are, I believe, at the same initiative. Cool. So do you want me to go first? Uh, yeah, go ahead. So I've got three attacks normally. Plus one for the charge, that's four attacks. Uh, I'm hitting you on fours. Fail the ball. Two hits. Ooh. I wound you on fours. Two wins, and it's AP2, so, so straight to Rian. Four up reanimation. So I'm gone. You are gone, but you do get hit back. Yeah, only two attacks. So two attacks, uh, threes. Well! <laughs> okay, uh, consolidation. Five inches. Nice. This is the last combat, so this melee here. I'm going to put all my attacks this time into the scarabs. I should have done that last time. Sure. So I'm forced to hit at 11 attacks. Fairly good. So four miss. And it's forced to win strength three against toughness three of the scarabs. Okay. So, so that'll be five, six ups. Uh, and then I've still got my re animation until obviously next turn. So four ups. So one is down, two wounds. Ross, shoot that back. Next up is the two blades. Uh, we're going to be wounding on fours. Uh, hit on fours. Uh, sorry, threes. So we're all good. And wounding on threes. That's one wound. Four up armor save. He's fine. Nice. I've got my sexy attack. Arrgh, he's getting his dice. Uh, I'm going to be hit on fours, I believe. I'm going to go two. So yep. fours. Uh, if he gives a wee hand, David. Not great. Cool, and then I'll be wounding on fours, I believe. You are, yeah. Need one more dice there to throw. All oh, right. One uh, by the way, it's pretty bad so far. So three wounds. I really want you to fail all three of these, then flee. Okay, so four up. Uh, Not so drawn combat. Oh no, that was a really bad result. Killed for me. two fire waters. I cost two wounds. That's a, that's a draw. Tau finally got ourselves on the board. So we managed to claim. Marker 6, which is really Yvakra consolidated to. Yep. Um, and we managed to claim Feigned Withdrawal, the Tomb Spider that was killed. Yep. So that is two victory points to four for Ross. Can and I just clarify, you actually gained two objectives by combat. Yes, yes, that is exactly what happened. Um, hey, we're playing it differently today. <laughs> um, he seems better at combat than anything else I have. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, now I have a dilemma. Recon I need to claim, but I need to get up to marker 5, which you've lost points over. Yeah, yeah, sure. A million miles away at the action. Yeah, yeah. Uh, My mortals could reveal it for you, but they're not gonna. I'm gonna, in that case though, discard Recon. Yep. Meaning next turn I can draw, uh, drop to another 3 new cards. But let's move on to Necrons, turn 3. Start up the Necron turn 3, I've still got Obscure Objective Marker 2, uh, which is possible but uh, now it's been denied by 
the what are they called? The Fire Warriors in combat. Mm -hmm. uh, just need to do one more to die and flee. Got secure objective marker three, which is also contested by Fire Warriors, who have obsec, which is a right pain. And then we have overwhelming firepower, which uh, I basically got to do a whole lot of shooting. So yeah, got to kill at least one unit in the shooting phase, and you've got loads of tidy walls or big creatures. It's a tough go, one. Let's go have fun. So we've got the Necron movement, and uh, we are beginning to move round to uh, hopefully surround the tower. Uh, as much as I'd like to say we surround them and get them, you know, close quarters, I'm failing at that as well, which ain't good. We've got our two ghost arcs over here, one of them is still immobilised, uh, but this one over here managed to recover D, uh, two Necron Warriors on this damage unit, because I do that start of the turn, which was pretty cool. Necron Warriors have moved forward, so they are hopefully going to target some of the Tau uh, Fire Warriors. Yeah, yeah, they call them Strike Team now, but we Fire Warriors. Well, really? I don't know anything about Tau. Uh, my Katan is hopefully going to make his charge this turn. He disappointed me last time, but he'll be fine. Um, Overlord with his Necron Warrior Residue is bearing down on this guy. The Riptide. Yep, yeah, want to take him. And for some reason I'm still stuck in this combat that should have been done a while ago. Yeah, uh, I'm really not doing well with that one. It's quite embarrassing. So yeah, with that, let's move on to the Necron Shooting Phase. So to start my shooting phase, I'm going to go with the Katan. He's going to fire at the Fire Warriors again and go with our silly... Card game. Card game. That's failed me every single time. I'll always go card number three. Uh, assault 10, strike down, strength 6, AP 4. I'm going to ground. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's kind of obvious. So, let's do this. Okay, uh, we're going to fire our uh, 10 shots onto the Fire Warriors. Uh, David, you're going to ground. Super going to ground. Yep. It's two step. Ooh. So that'll be one miss. Choose to wounds. Strength 6, CP4. And that is that many 2 up saves. Okay. Uh, okay, 2 up. So, the, would you like to roll them all again and any 6s uh, go up to me? Yep, because of the shield vein or shield wall. So, looking for 6s. We get 1. Yep, so do you roll. 5s to wound? Yep. I need to wound you first. Cool. Oh no, it's an automatic. Yeah, I think yeah. I just need to make a... Oh, I lose a wind! Yeah, you're right. Going with our... Uh, Two blades. Two blades. They're going to fire their blasters. Like, no cover! On to the ethereal. Go for it. Uh, I'm going to hit two guys and two guys in the fire warrior squad, the strike team. Uh, one will go back... Two, two inches. inches. There'll be one hit on the ethereal's unit. And one hit on the fire warrior. Okay, okay. Uh, the second one? Direct hit. Direct hit. So on the ethereals, it will be three. two wounds. Yep. That'll be three wounds. Okay, so there is a shield drone out front, and that is a four up invul. So you've got to do that once, and then keep, well, once he's dead, so just roll one at a time. Well, any a failure, we're going to go straight onto the ethereal, and he will ignore his armour. Cool. He has three wounds, so I might just roll them all. Because I'll get no saves of him anyway. Yeah, yeah. So, he's dead. So, Ethereal's down to one wound. Is he not tough as three? Oh, he is. Oh no, he's so dead. He's so dead. And next we're going for the Fire Warrior slash Strike Team. So it's three wounds on them. Yep, two is to kill. Take three away. Uh, mm. Well, you need to look out. So one, he's gone. And then you've got to make two lookouts. Uh -huh. uh, four plus. So no, it'll just go with normal. Yep. Gonna go with our Necron Warriors here next. They're gonna target this ghost kill. Still get your crazy two up save, but if I go for the fire warriors, they're gonna just reflect shots back. Totally and agree, Ross. Fair shot. Cool, so threes to hit. Um, wow, I forget those sixes on uh, uh -huh. yeah. so fives to win me. Fives to wounds. Uh yeah, so two wounds. Show me double one. Two up cover save. Okay. That's not quite it. I will then do another series of shots from the ghost, uh, ghost, ghost arc. arc. One, two, again the ghost kill. Yep. yep. Three set. Mm. Mm. And then fives to win them. Uh, only two. Okay. Double one. That's your ghost arc. Well done. 
Yep, okay. Yeah, <laughs> and then you've got, I think, eight more shots we checked. Yep. With the fight, the warriors here. Yeah, so three step. Wow. Okay, five to wind. Only one wind. Got to roll one this time. Hey! <laughs> Stop it, Ross. He's down to one wound. These Necron Warriors with Overlord are going to target... Name them, David, please. The Yavakra Riptide. Sure. Uh, they're all rapid fire range, so I'm looking at 20 shots. Rerolling ones. Three step. Gonna reroll these. And then that will be quite a healthy amount of uh, hits. Now we're needing sixes. Sixes to wound. Stuff six. Yep. Uh, you know what? Not bad. A lot of ones though. Look at that. If only I preferred the enemy, that'd be awesome. So we have a triple one. I did this earlier. Two up arms. I did this earlier. Ends That's fine. not triple one. Ah. Now I took the nightmare shroud on my overlords, mainly for the two up armor save. But now I'm going to make your guy take leadership test. Uh, he's allowed to within 18 inches to go away. They wouldn't go away. He's just going to move to my table edge. Go away. No. No. <laughs> He's sticking around. Next up, we're going with our Transcendent Catan. Straight at this strike unit. What are people? So, the Fire Warriors went to ground so they cannot overwatch, but we're going to support and fire with the Pathfinders and Ghost Kill. Cool. So, six is to hit with the Pathfinders. We get six shots. Assault two per gun. We get two hits. And we need sixes again to win you. Nope. Twin Link Fusion Blaster next from the Ghost Keel. Twin Link. Okay, run your head and roll the charge. Cool, six inch charge. So no matter uh, what it is, passed. definitely yeah. passed. So firstly, he's going to strike Sir Transcendent Catan. He's going to smoke one of the guys, hammer off on a two. Really? Okay. And uh, I do get strike first because I think he's got the same face he's shifter. In as the, he's higher understood, yeah. Well, I did just go into there, so I don't know if I've got face shifter. But yeah, face sure fine. Okay, totally fine. Uh, two step. Two is to go. And two die. Two go down. Kablam. Uh, I'll get two attacks back. Yep. Hitting on fives. And winding on sixes. Nope. So I'll take a leadership check. Uh, Shazwi is dead, so I'm down to leadership 8. And oh, minus 2. Down to leadership 7 minus 2. Oh. Theory was dead too. Yeah. Okay. Please fail this. I really need you to. <laughs> ah! nope. They are going to stick around. Yeah. That's nice. Gonna go with this Fire Warrior unit versus the Scarabs and the uh, Tomb Blades. Yep. Yeah. So, David, why don't you go first? I'll put my attacks into the scarabs yep. as I've no longer got reanimation. Uh, so, forced to hit the scarabs. Okay, so that's what. Four hits. Yep. And uh, forced to wind you. So, that's one save to make it six up. Nope, so it'll be one base gone. I will be striking back now. Yep, you will indeed. Oh, this is where it's going to hurt. Yep, two of the, the two blades, threes. And threes. So that'll be one wins. Four up armor save. Nope, one fire warrior goes down. And next up is the scarabs, and they will be uh, forced out. Well, this was much better, but I really don't actually want this to be particularly good. Yeah, I want you to win this combat. Yeah, I really don't want to, uh, because then your guy's going to come out and have fun. Forced wins. Yep, there you go. Okay, so that's what five saves. Yep. Four up. So, so two go down. So that's four fire warriors dead. Uh, the Shazwi still alive. So that's me four. I yeah. only killed one guy with two blades and then two guys there. You did, yeah. So three. So three. So eight minus three. So we're looking at five. Sure are. You passed last time. We oh. failed. <laughs> now you can overrun me. Sure, sure. Uh, so it's initiative off, I get two dice, you get will, one. Yes, I have. Uh, so I need to roll a six. Yeah. I need to actually roll a six. Oh! oh dude. <laughs> right. So they get away. So finished up the Necron turn three. Uh, 
Mixed bag, uh, we did get Warlord Kill, which is awesome because Theory gives you two points. But where the combats I wanted them to fail have actually switched round yeah, because if that Catan had moved them, I would have been sitting on eight victory points. Unfortunately, that is not the case for now. So yeah, what I've achieved this turn is uh, I got overwhelmed with power. I blasted the Thedio and uh, he gave me, well, essentially three victory points. Yeah, so it puts you to seven to two. Sure does, man. I'm going to burn Secure Objective Marker 2. I was hoping the Tomb Blade or the Scabs might be able to get it. I've got a funny feeling that a certain piece of armour, beginning with an S, really won't allow that. Yeah, he's, he's going to come alive now. Yeah, he's going to come alive. So, yeah, with that, let's move on to Tell Turn 3. I've gone ahead now in tile turn 3 and drawn 3 new objective cards as I had none. Um, I've got the greater good, score d3 victory points at the end of your turn if you control one objective marker that was controlled by an enemy um, and score d3 plus 3 if we do it with 3. Not going to happen but that is achievable. So we won't get the d3 plus 3 but definitely d3. Behind enemy lines, get within 12 inches of your opponent's table edge. I'll definitely save that because we've got more time to go with the game. Supremacy, basically hold 2 objectives and twice as many as your opponent. I could potentially leave you with none. Nice. So yeah, we can definitely claw back with those cards. With that, let's uh, let's move into Tau movement phase. So we rolled our leadership for our Fire Warriors. They failed. They flew back another four inches. They ended up there. So they're snapshot. Fair enough. Uh, otherwise, Pathfinders stayed where they are. So they're not snapshotting their marker lights. Ghost Keels came out to play. Um, don't really know what to do there. And more importantly, we brought up our Supremacy suit coming out to fight, and we've also brought the Riptide over who's now back in swooping. So we made a big leaping bound move over here to this objective to try and kill some guys to knock them off the objective. And um, let's go into the shooting phase and try and cause some damage. We'll start the shooting phase with the marker lights. We have three of them shooting into your warlord and his fire warriors. Sounds good. So force to hit. We got one, I'm immediately just going to buff Ballistic Skill on them. Yeah, fair enough. We'll start by shooting the Tau Supremacy. Um, he's going to shoot his D version of the cannon this time. So it's a 7 inch blast. We are using Apocalypse, but again, we're just using the ring for 7 inches. Sure, sure, sure. So if we put it in the middle, we're hitting every guy. So he's now Ballistic Skill 5. Direct hit. Uh oh. So yeah, let's get some dice ready. So a direct hit with that blast gives us 11 hits, yep. it's a D-weapon, let's roll. Oh, we get no sixes and we get two ones. So you probably want to start doing four first because it's four before your Warlord. Sure, so it's four reanimations. Yep. Uh, no, you don't get any reanimations. Oh, so it's four dead. So four dead and then the rest I've got to do look so five next then. And these um, are lookout sirs. Yep, five lookout sirs, so please don't roll one. There's one one, I do get an invul on that. So four more warriors are dead. Yep, and then I've got to get a four up here. That's a five. So he's alive. Four more warriors will bite the dust. I think it'll be that one. Yeah. Next up we have five melter shots with the Tau Supremacy onto your warlord and his unit. Yep. So we are... Plus one blessed skill, so twos to hit. They all hit. Oh. Strength seven, sorry, strength eight AP one. So twos to wind. Just wind. All but one. I assume you're gonna look at sir. Uh yep, so gonna look out, sir. How many guys are left? Two. Two. So, so I can really only do two. two at a time, yeah. you know, and then see if they survive. So two at a time. So one goes on to my lord. Uh we'll see this guy first. So it's gonna be a five up reanimation. Five up reanimation. Nope, he's Lord gone. Gets down. And the Lord gets four up in vault, which fails. Reanimation. Which, which he fails, fails. So he's, he's down, down two wins. Two wins. And I think you've got uh, Another, two more. Two more. Uh, both Lucal, but I've only got one guy left. Five up Rian. That's cocked. A bit more cocked. He's fine. And five. the last one. Uh, no, nope. he's dead. So it's just the Lord left. And I do have that objective now. Yeah, yeah, well, nothing else is going to stop that one with. Next up, we'll use the Tri-Axis Ion Cannon on the Warlord. Sure, sure. 
He'll I'm go to ground by the well we'll see how you do, but he'll probably go to ground to give me a six up cover. So I'm gonna use the um it's called the coherent beam version, which yep. makes it heavy three, strength nine AP2. Cool. So two's to hit. That was a one and a one. Nice! Uh, two's to wind. Still probably gonna go to ground. Really? Wow, David, that was cool. We'll go next with uh, the heavy burst cannons onto the two blades. Yep. So eight shots in total to start with. Uh, hitting on fours now, sorry, threes rather than twos. Okay, not so good. We get four hits. Winning on fours, strength five. Okay, that's four saves to make. Oh, wow, that was a good roll, David. Uh, cool, I am going to be three to save. So and then a four up. He is fine. Uh, we'll do the smart missile systems next. What do they do? Just same as burst cannons, essentially. Okay. Without line of sight, no cover. Cool. Anyway, these are forced to hit eight shots. They are twin linked. So all but one. And these again are strength five, so it's forced to wound. Well, that was poor. That was poor. one wound. One wound. It's not though. No one. Nice. We're moving on to the Yavaka Riptide. Now, apologies, I did forget to do the flechette dispersion pods. Uh, but hey, it's done. So we're now going to shoot our flamer, essentially. And we're going to torrent into six inches. We're getting eight hits. Nice. So six on this unit, two on that unit. Uh, I'm going to use the Gets Hot version, which means I get to do this flamer twice. So Double one. Uh, no Gets no. Hot. <laughs> so this unit will get hit 12 times. Um, two is to win. Yep, two is to win because it's now strength six, AP two. So twelve on this unit. Yep. Okay, so you've got that many reanimations. Wow. Uh, and it'll be four ups. Yeah, not bad. So it will kill five guys, and then the second unit is now getting hit four times because yep. again the flamer is activated twice. Twos. So three on that one. Four ups. Oh! oh three guys. So that's five and three. The Yavaka will now shoot a secondary weapon. So that is strength eight AP3 into the unit it was originally targeted. But because I have Nova charged it this turn, yep. uh, which I did pass guys, I get an extra D3 shot. So it's three plus D3. So oh, we get six shots. Yeah. And we're wounding on twos. Do you know how to roll to it first? So I do. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Yep, yeah, three's to hit. Three's to hit. Okay, so four hits. And uh, now two's to wound. So that's four saves at minus one to your reanimation. Yeah, so it'll be five up. So three will go down. Next up will be my fire warriors. They'll snap fire into those two tomb blades who just do not want to die. Nope. So we are falling back. So these are sixes to hit with ten shots. That's three sixes. Nice. Nice. And uh, it's fours to wind you because they're strength five. One wind. Cool, so that'll be a uh, three up save. And four up fine. animation. Dick. And last to shoot for the tile will be the ghost kill, who is still because of the formation. Um, he has plus on ballistic skill, ignores cover, hit the rear vehicle. We'll drop our fusion collider right about here. Cool. So, looking for scatter. Direct hit. Yep. So your rear armor is 11, so it's threes to glance, fours to pen. It's a pen. It's a pen, uh, nothing I can do to you stop can't it. Drink. So the shield is down. Yep. So four plus it explodes. AP1 open topped. Uh, but it's it is immobilized. immobilized. So we now have two immobilized ghost arcs. We've still got uh, other things to Oh yeah, normal twin link fusion blaster. Let's shoot that next. So threes to hit, twin linked. Uh, threes to glance, force to pen. It's a pen. Uh, plus three to go away. Uh, no, mobilized. It'd only be double things. Yeah, you're fine. you'd still be fine. <sighs> uh, it's a snap firing ghost arc, which I think you ignore. We'll have a check. So David has done his firing, and I have to say I was pretty impressed by it. That was a we did check pretty good round. The ghost arc ignores crew shaking, crew stunned, and the curing. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Uh, loot ship checks. They'll be Pass. sticking about. 
they'll be sticking about and Overlords is sticking about as well for some time um, I've got moving to the assault phase I'll just do my assault moves and then we'll get some charges to declare I'm not going to declare any more charges um, I, I quite like the spread of what's happening so you know what Ross let's do this combat kill him, kill, kill him please hooray three to oh no <laughs> wow well one's dead but what okay so one attack back oh Ross man he doesn't hit Failure leadership check. Six. Go away. Oh! David. David. That actually helps me massively. Horrifically helps you. Just did a bit cheeky assault move with the Yavara Riptide. Just move them away from more stuff, I guess. Yeah, yeah I, I thought it could be cheeky and sly, make more charges. I can't. Just bend in the rules and try to cheat. Sorry, guys. Um, anyway, so. This turn, end of turn 3 for Tao, I can claim Supremacy and the Greater Good, both giving me D3 victory points each. So I do control twice, uh, sorry, two objectives and twice as many as my opponent, and I stole objective marker 1 from your Necrons. Yep. This is big. Yep. So I'm, I'm looking for something high here. I'm looking for low. Well, so we get 4. Yep. So that'll bring it to 7 points for the Necrons to my 6. Still anyone's game. Still anyone's game. So now on to the Necron turn four. Uh, I've got two extra cards. I saved secure objective marker three from last turn. I drew Kingslayer, which I've already actually achieved. So that's quite good. However, I have Code of Combat, which requires me to make one challenge in my turn. I don't have anyone who can actually achieve that. At the moment. At the moment. At the moment. Uh, so I'll need to decide what I plan to do with that. Unfortunately, also, my Necron Lord is looking down the barrel of several kinds of death. <laughs> he's like pinched in between these two. Yeah, he's uh, not liking where he is. So, with that, well, let's move on. Let's uh, have a look where I move. Yeah, so. Okay cards, we can achieve some points here. I've actually already achieved Kingslayer, so that's pretty cool. Uh, how I've decided to move, basically to overall go with the Overlord. He has ran and running hard, uh, because that area looked like a problem. Uh, Necro Warriors have moved forwards, recovered one guy from one unit, which is alright. Uh, Tomb Blades have moved, other Tomb Blades have moved, and the Swarms have moved towards the Ghost Keel. So a lot of movement, uh, really it's going to be my Tomb Blades that are going to do the most damage, except for the Katan, who's going to kill that Fire Warrior, and he's going to give me that 3 points. Yeah, roll 1s, lots of 1s. Don't do this to, to me, David. Uh, Immortals, who forgot about this whole game, and trust me, I have not forgot about them, I just don't think they'll do anything. Staying back in case Objective Marker 5 appears. Let's move on to my shooting phase. Our two Tomb Blades here are going to target these Fire Warriors. Gonna get four of them and also hit the ghost keel. So we are gonna roll scar, don't go towards scarabs. Uh, that'll be one inch that way. You'll probably get two guys in the ghost keel, yeah. but we'll measure in a minute. And a direct hit. Let's uh, get the dice ready. So we worked out we've got six hits on these guys here, and we've got three on the ghost keel unit. So we'll do the fire warriors first, twos to go away. Uh, that'll be four guys gone. So they won't be regrouping anytime soon? Nope. And we also have the Ghost Skill 1, uh, which will be your 3 wounds. Yep. All but 1. So that will be 3 up saves. So, uh, 3 up save. If I fail this, he is dead. He is alive. That was lucky. Next up, the Tomb Blades from here. They're going after the Ghost Skill. So I've got 1 drone and 1 on him. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Direct hit. And it's gone. Uh, no, the angle. If you did it there. Oh no, that's going to probably yeah. hit. So, so we'll work that one out. Five inches. So we have uh, three hits onto the ghost kill. And it's uh, three to wounds. So we have one wound. Okay. So three up. And he is dead. Okay, okay. And then you've got a. Scarab, so we scarab. did check. Just one. 
it's so, two plus and it will destroy a base. So that scarab base that got clipped goes. So we're going to go with these Necron Warriors first. Only three of them in range to fire at these Pathfinders. Go for it. So uh, three step. And then threes to wounds. That's one so wound. Going to ground. Absolutely. Okay. So. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Huh. Well, fine to that. Five up, four up. Yeah. Yeah. So one Pathfinder goes down. Yeah, there was intervening terrain. Next, we've got our Necro Warriors here. They're going to target these fire, uh, these Pathfinders again. We got so it. Threes. Uh, threes. Ooh. That'll be two woods. So four up, cover save. Two four ups. One more goes down. But the Shasui is still there. I have one leadership check to make, which is for my Shasui Pathfinder. Uh, that is leadership eight. Well, what do you know? He's liking the fight. So we're going to move into the assault phase. I'm going to dance charge my scarabs onto uh, this lone fire warrior. But we're also going to do two blades on him as well. But obviously, we we'll scarabs, scarabs first. first. So I'll we use the overwatch. Yeah, I'll do support and fire with the gun at ground Shazvi. Yeah, sorry, Shazvi. Yeah. So before shots in total, two from him and two from the fire warrior. We're looking for sixes. We get two sixes. Nice. We are looking for twos to wind. For just two wounds? Yep. One. So one base, the first base, is down to two wounds. Would you like to go ahead and roll for your charge? Scarabs first. Yeah, we roll fleet. both in. Seven inches. You still be in. I'll take me in. Two blades next. Uh, eight inches. We'll have a check, but should be close. Yeah, go and check just now. You can re-roll it, your jet bikes. No. You're in. We're in. Oh, that's a dead fire warrior. Is he not running actually? You need to make a ramp check. Yes, so uh, leadership seven. No, regrouping? Or is it just standard morale check? Let's have a check. Yeah, good, good, good. Oh. So Ross charged in. Yep, it is a morale check and it's not an insane heroism. It's just normal leadership. So sevens. Oh well, he's dead. And finally, we're going to go with this Catan who hopefully should finish off this final fire warrior fire warrior three step oh now you have he's super dead you need to roll three ones done already so i should do it now yeah he's gonna go on. he is gone do you want to consolidate d6 sure do uh it's not gonna be much more than an inch three inches good and that is the end of necron turn four actually pretty good Almost reduced the Tau down to two models. There's Very one guy. Out. There's one guy left who's gone to ground. However, those two models that are left are real big pains. And nearly half your points, David. So yep. that's not cool. I achieved secure objective marker three with Katan. Finally, mm -hmm. finally. So that's good. That's one point. I have got Kingslayer because the Ethereal is already gone. Yes. So, so I do get D three. See how many we get. And that'll be two points. And then I will also discard Code of, code of Combat because yeah. I don't think I'm going to be issuing any challenges. So I think that brings you 10 to 6 in the lead. That does indeed bring me to 10 to 6. So still possible for the Necrons as we move into Tau turn 4. Right, we're into Tau turn 4, so I've drawn my new cards we always had behind enemy lines. I've got Ascendancy, which we all know what that is, you know, control lots of markers. Uh, and no prisoners, kill stuff, love it. And um, yeah, let's go into the Tau movement phase. Finished off the movement phase for the Tau, not really much has happened, but I will be honest, we've got a few cheeky things I want to talk to you guys, the viewers, about. Uh, so firstly, he's just rotated round. He's still claiming that objective marker behind him. The Yav the Yavara has still claiming that objective marker, but he failed his Nova charge, so he's down to two wounds. Um, and then cheekily, we checked about fortifications. So rules was written that fortification was claimed by me as a purchase. Yep. 
Um, and I would only lose claimant of it the moment that an enemy model um, was basically embarked upon it. We haven't had Ross's Necrons embarked on it yet. So technically, we looked at the rules, had about 10 minutes reviewing it, I can still move that. Because we can't find anything in the rules telling us that the Tide Wall has to have people embarked on it to move, because it's still technically claimed at the moment by me. I think that's what we found, Ross. Yeah, sure. Um, you guys, if you've got rules or anything that disagrees with that, can you please send us the page numbers and the descriptions, because we're curious about this, because it may actually impact the game. Yep. Um, but I've moved that tide wall within three inches of the next objective, which can technically give me ascendancy, and this is why we want you guys to let us know your thoughts. With that, however, let's move into the Tau shooting phase. Just going to snap fire cheeky marker light at the Tomb Blades. Six is to hit. Oh, oh that's a marker light. That's one of the skill? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. But that's going to come in handy. Yep. We will start with the Supremacy. He's going to shoot the D weapon 7 inch blast template on these guys. Tomb Blades are being targeted. Now, again, this is Apocalypse, but we're using the 7 inch ring. Sure, sure, sure. Because uh, we can't set, find those measurements, uh, templates anymore. Cool. So, they are plus on ballistic skill. Let's roll for scatter. Uh, that will be an inch. Oh, sorry, two inches, but it's still going to hit everything. Agreed. Just say, David, uh, Fan Destroyer does not ignore cover saves. So I'm going to jink. Yes, you are. For funds. Uh, right, do you want to do a swarm first? Yeah. It'll be twos to go away. Swarms are dead. Swarms gone, and then twos for this, don't roll double six. Well, one's immediately gone, and then and one, one gets save. a four up, which he makes. He does make. We'll do the two twin link burst cannons into the remaining two blades. Looking for their ballistic skill one, actually. Plus one, because of the marker light. Yes, they are indeed. So, uh, twos to hit. They are twin linked. That was a one, guys. I'd be much happier if your ballistic skill one, like you said. <laughs> so they all hit, and yes. it's strength 5, so 4's to wind you. Okay, so that's uh, 3 saves to make. Cool. 3 plus. Oh, 4 plus. Oh, he's and gone. And he's gone. We'll shoot our twin link smart missile systems at this... Um, Ghost Ark. Ghost Ark, with 2 hull points left. Yep. Now, it does ignore cover, and I don't need a line of sight. So these are 3's to hit. They all hit. Nice. How many sixes did you get? They all hit. <laughs> yeah, but how many sixes did you get? None. Well, I'm just saying that for your next roll. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> you need sixes. So, so need two, two sixes, sixes, and it's a dead ghost arc. No, we won't get any sixes. Now, again, we have five melter shots, strength eight, AP one. We're going to shoot them at the ghost arc. Um, you will get a sick four up cover save for this one. Yes, because that is sick. Yeah, so, <laughs> so three's to hit. Beautiful. So we only have a two. Beautiful. Um, I'm yeah. 11, so you need threes. So we got a pen and a glance. Ooh. Four up cover save. Uh, so I'll do the pen first, four up. So you're not getting them this turn. No, I'm not getting them. The glance uh, is also fine. I'll just quickly do my three last cannon shots. Yep. Um, and you know what? We'll do it on the ghost arc. Fair enough. So he has a secondary fire mode, which actually Ooh. makes him strength 9 AP2. Yep. Rather than strength 7 AP3. Cool. So, hit on threes. Uh, it'll be twos to glance, threes to pen. Sure will. Two pens. Two pens. Two four ups. Oh, okay. Ross. Ross. Oh, and that's the supremacy shot, everything. Last thing to shoot will be my Yavara Riptide. Now he is not overcharged, that's why he's down to two wounds. We're going to put the Torrent Flamer, and we have checked. Six inches, we'll move it over. We're hitting everything. Cool. But we are targeting these warriors. I would love if you roll a double one and another double one. Yeah. So I'm doing this to get hot version. Roll me double ones. ones. No ones. Oh, yeah, okay. So we'll roll six hits, that will be on your three warriors. Yep. Two's to wind. That's uh, all wins. Cool. So what I need is a four up reanimation. Re and we get your ones as well. We roll my ones. Cool. So four up. Well, they're gone. They are Even gone. with re roll, uh, they are they're gone. gone. And that's my third unit killed this phase. Nice. Uh, let's hope I don't do that again with so, the Necron Lord. 
Lickron Lord gets hit twice with the Flamer. Yep. Uh, threes to wound him. Failing both. Two wounds. That's not failing both, David. Four up. Oh. Oh, he's down to one. That one. was your involves were rolling there, not your reanimations. All right. So I failed that. So that'd be a reanimation. That'd be You're reanimation. Fine, yes. <laughs> three ones are reanimation. I forgot about involve. Thanks, David. It's okay. That was a pretty eventful turn four for Tao. Um, I do want to know your thoughts, guys, on that fortification and the movement of it. We did read the rules thoroughly. Yeah. We came to an agree with Ross. Yeah. Uh, let's be honest. Painfully. With there was much reading. Much reading. Yeah. I, I, I think it's terrible that you're allowed to do that. So we could be wrong. Please let us know. Cool. However, um, we have three objective markers I control, so I can claim ascendancy. Yep. And no prisoners. I killed three units in the shooting phase. Scarabs, two blades, warriors. Nice. So I can claim another D3, and it is 10 to 6 at the moment. Let's roll two D3s. Um, okay, yeah. so that'll give me four. So, so we're drawing. We're drawing. Ooh. Wow. It's 10 to 10. Necrons, turn five. So now on the Necron turn 5, uh, I've got 3 new cards. I have Blood and Guts, which is uh, if I destroy an enemy unit during the Assault Phase. Gonna attempt it. Uh, behind any lines, uh, I get 1 victory point if I have 1 within opponent's table edge. If I have 3, I get D3. Very possible. And Domination, which is absolutely 100% not going to happen. So I've still got some things that are movable. Uh, I can recover some Necron Warriors through repairs from the Grove Stark. But generally I'm going to move to David's side of the table yeah. and do nothing. So yeah, finish the Necron moving phase. Uh, General saw sort of retreat back here to get the D3 uh, behind enemy lines. We've got our Catan, our Tomb Blades, uh, our Overlord, Necron Warriors, immobilised Ghost Starks, and the Mortals have came out to party. Ooh. I rolled uh, to see if they could get in range of the Flying Riptide, or whatever it's called, and uh, I rolled a 5, which made, unfortunately, 3 of them out of range. Just want to also point at this stage, we've miscalculated the victory points. Oh, I know. Um, we've actually realised, we've checked back at the scorecards, it's Tau on 11 to Necron's 10. Yep. So I'm coming behind. Great. You'll let's pull it back. On. Well, yeah, well, so let's move on to Necron Shooting Face. It's going to start with our two blades here. They're going to fire at the flying reptiles. I'm not going to try and pronounce its name because they're all crazy. Yabakra. That's exactly why. Okay. Uh, it's right in the middle, so scatter. Uh, that's going to be four inches down that way. We'll need double the check. Center. We'll double check that in a minute. Next one. Uh, go, hey, on. go on. Well, let's go and check. We double check the scatter for the first one and it's actually just off. So no hits on the reptile. That was a pain. We're going to go with the Necron Warriors next. Not in range of the targeting relay. Uh, we have three to hit. Uh, wow, if I was only in range of that targeting <laughs> relay, because they were all ones. Uh, and next, we're going to need fives to wins. Uh, no, sixes. Are you tough in a six? Yes. Ooh. So you get uh, one wound. Only one wound. Go for it, David. Even Ooh. if you were fives, it would have been one wound. Get uh, one. Two up armor save. Ah. So fine, it's so five up. Cool. And we'll quickly resolve the two immortals next. Uh, threes, fives, so that's one wound. Because they are yep. five. Oh! He takes a wound. Lovely. So I did my run move. We've just got our uh, overlord here behind the shield wall. But we're going to go for a to charge this pathfinder. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Overwatch. So sixes, none. Cool, I need a 5 inch charge. Katan, don't fail again. Oh, that's massive! That is massive! That's not good. I think that's the end of your turn. Yeah, that's the end of the my turn. Because the ghost arcs aren't an angle to shoot at anything. Well, I made an assault move so I couldn't, yeah. uh, couldn't shoot. Oh man. So, with that, is the end of my turn. Let's recap. Yeah. So, that is the end of Necron turn. Five. Ah, I can't believe I failed that charge with the Katana again. He's cost me quite a bit in this game. 
However, I do have three units within 12 inches of David's table edge. That does give me behind enemy lines for a D3. Really need a five or six here for this to be a little bit of a chance. So we do have three this turn. So that will give us two 13 to 11. Mm -hmm. As we move into Tau, turn five. Thanks for reminding me, David. It's Tau turn five, which could be the last turn we have in the game. Um, so I do have behind enemy lines, which you already know, yep. which I'll hopefully be getting this turn. Assassinate. So if I kill the enemy warlord, it'll be a victory point, but I'll also get another victory point for Slay the Warlord. So well, it's if you kill a character, but uh, yeah, you only got. You know, he's potentially worth two points this turn. Exactly. Really good. Hold the line, not happening, so if the game continues, that's getting chucked. Cool. To the one half. Yep. With that, I'm going to go into the movement phase for Tau. Just to show you the movement, my Yvahra has allowed to, again, become a swooping monstrous creature for this turn, so it takes a leaping bound 24 inches over here. So we will claim behind enemy lines, and he's in range to shoot some immortals. Nice. Hoping the game ends turn 5 as well. Um, and then, importantly, the big guy. Oh, my he's going up to just hopefully take the last two wins off of your warlord. He can try. He can try. You're Necrons. You have like indomitable will. Uh, and my Pathfinder's running away. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, I didn't choose to Nova charge my Riptide. Good call. Because I'm terrified I'll kill him. Yeah. Let's move into the shooting phase. We will start the shooting phase of the Pulse Driver Cannon of Death. We're going to use the D version, because that apocalyptic blast was useless. Yep. Um, again, we're using this blast, but it's the ring for 7 inches, so we're hitting everything bar that Tomb Blade. Cool. And we're actually just missing myself. Please scatter loads. No. Nope. That's wrong, David. So that would have been what you wanted. <laughs> ah. Okay, so um, we'll start with... Uh, okay, so D weapon hit. Yeah. Uh, if I roll a six, he's dead. Don't do that. Nope, nope. but it is D3 wins and you do have an invul save. Yep, it's invul save. Which uh, you failed. failed uh, Reanimation. It's a destroyer hit. Destroyers, don't get it. It's D3. Uh, you need me to roll one or two here. Yeah. No. No, he is. So that's his last two gone. wounds. He is assassinated. Wait on you. We're hit on the Catan. Give me a six. That's just a two. What up? What up? No. Okay, so if I roll five or six, it's a dead Catan. Yep. It's a dead Catan. He's gone. Oh my <laughs> god. Uh, do I roll uh, for him? Tim Blade? Uh, you can drink, obviously. I can't drink because oh, you never yeah. charged him. You're right. And he's gone. And he's gone. We'll use our, I think it's the Eradicator or Triaxis Ion Cannon, but basically it's a five shot melter. Uh, we've checked um, within 12 inches. He's yep. not a vehicle, so you don't measure from the gun. Let's melter this guy. Yep. So three's to hit. Um, so you have four melters. So I meant, oh, you can't jink. Nope. So it's gone. Well, it's gone. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh no, no, we need to actually need to see first. So yeah. Pen, pen. Now it's gone. Pen. Now it's gone. Pen. Now it's gone. pen. Yeah. Roll uh, four dice. Any four pluses <laughs> explodes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and explodes. explodes. Do I see? Actually, by one. Do I see yeah. how the d six? How far it goes? It'll six clip some guys. Yep. The explosion will clip six of these warriors, so these are forced to wind. It's only one save you have to make there, Ross. Oh, hooray! Four up. And he's fine. Could have done with that when we had the warlord. Yeah. We're using our coherent beam version of our cannon, which basically is heavy three, strength nine, AP two, from that one into the other ghost arc. Um, so, threes to hit. Two hits, strength nine, so twos to glance, threes to pen. Just two pens. Uh, yeah. We so checked line of sight. There's no cover. No cover. Um, so AP two open topped. So five plus. Five plus. But if you get it immobilized, it will be two yeah. hull points as well. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. He's down to one hull point. We will use the twin link smart missile systems to try and scratch the last hull point off of the uh, ghost arc. So these are threes to hit. That is twin linked. 
Okay, so all but one. I need a single six, and it's gone. Nope. Damn it. Lastly, for the supremacy suit, will be the twin link burst cannons. Two of them into the two, two blades. So threes to hit. We are twin linked. So all but one again, and it's forced to wind. I'm going to survive all these. So I'm going to survive all these. You are, Ross. You are. Here's optimism. Uh, Fail one. Oh. oh, so the Tomb Blade is dead. I'll take that back. Last up to shoot will be the Yavakra Rip Riptide. Um, we're going to torrent six inches and hit five immortals. Cool. So these are twos to wind. Okay, that's three saves to make at uh, reanimation. Four up. Oh, three dead. So you go down. And lastly, we've got three shots. Now we did not Nova this turn, so yep. I don't get three plus D3. We'll do three strength eight AP three shots. Cool. Hitting on threes. They all hit. Twos. Two wounds, and it's five up reanimation now. Oof. One. That'll be an end of the shooting phase. Thank goodness. Uh, do you want to quickly take a leadership check for me? Uh, yep, I will. He's fine. Sticking around. Just to quickly let you know, I did run the Pathfinder as well, guys, just in case you're wondering what happened there. Because he was scared of... <sighs> yeah. So that brings an end to a super destructive Tau turn 5. That was immense. So it's 13 to 11 at the moment, we've checked. Um, I got Assassinate, plus Warlord kill brings it 13 to 13. And I did get behind the enemy lines, which now makes it 14 to 13. We both have Line Breaker. Um, which makes it 15 to 14. Uh, shall we see if the game continues? Sure. Okay. And it does. Cool. Well, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm going to draw my cards. See what you get. If we're super lucky, but otherwise, uh, we're going to be in trouble. Let's see if we'll play out turn six. So we are at the start of Necron turn six. Uh, I drew my cards and they were a bit small. Uh, I got uh, Supremacy, so I needed to <laughs> get uh, no. I got Ascendancy, which I'm really down to. So two units I can move and I mobilised Ghost Arc and I need to get Psychological Warfare. Not happening. No chance. So with that, I'm going to concede. Well done, David. That was an epic game. Guys, again, just want to reiterate, please let us know your thoughts on what we did with the tide wall. We did read and reread the rules. There might be something out there, but please let us know your thoughts. Let's, uh, let's recap the game. Um, thanks for watching, first of all. That was a whole ton of fun on my part. Yep, you're shell shot. I get it. Understand. We did say at the start, guys, we're, we're playing something cheesy. Well, I am playing something cheesy. I know some of you have already mentioned, you know, don't play cheesy lists, but we got a brand new toy that some people had requested, and I want to, to use it. So I used it. Um, thoughts? Well, David is now banned from using the Supremacy Armour until he has played it against Rich and Will. He's not playing it against me, like, I'm having enough of that. Uh, until you play Will and Richard, uh, please don't use it. Yeah, no, I, 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 I won't use it. That's fair. That's fair. Cool. So, a couple of things. Uh, first thing on my part, uh, how, would you, how do you deal with the Supremacy Armour? You know, we could have I could have had the wraiths go after it, but you did do quite a bit of damage before they got there. Yeah. That was a real pain. Uh, not ideal. I really looked at his uh, psychic abilities, which obviously Necron's not uh, attuned to. Can really cause it some problems. Yeah. But any advice, I asked this on Facebook and I just got people going, wow, supremacy, so that wasn't ideal. Don't recommend just Wraith Knights. We get yeah. it. We get that one, so it uh, just gives us a couple of options, we'd be really happy. Yeah, no, makes it, makes it more interesting. Um, 
One thing I want to point out again, I've reiterated it twice already during the game about the fortifications, sure. the tide wall. It does seem really confusing how that whole situation worked. But we've read, reread, we even got the Stronghold Assault book. We got someone to give us a copy of that so we could read that. And we couldn't really clear it up. However, if that ends up we did that wrong, I think you just still get tabled. I still hope the internet hates you for doing it. Uh, yeah, no, at the end of the day you would have tabled me. Yeah. But uh, it was one of those moves that I, I, I couldn't approve of. But I couldn't stop you because I couldn't find anything to say, don't do it, David. It wasn't in my plan to do it. I just, it was in mid-game and I was like, wait a minute, can I do this? And then um, we thought, let's have a look. I, I, I'm going to say for right now, I disagree as well. I don't think it should be allowed to do it. You did it anyway. But I did it anyway. <laughs> I was like 7 2 behind in points. I was scraping for points at that point. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, a couple of questions, guys, for you there. If you can help us with that, we'd greatly appreciate it. Absolutely. Hope you enjoyed the fight. Supremacy is away for a while now. Absolutely. Well, you, you never know when you're going to play Will and Richards. You can go, oh, hi, guys. I think Will's planning a double Bane Blade play soon. Ooh. So maybe that would be a good moment to bring out the supremacy. Yep, sounds Against good. Two Bane Blades. Love it. Um, anyway, thanks guys for watching. Give us your comments, your thoughts in the comment section below. And uh, we'll see you next time on another Tabletop Assault Battle Report.